I was looking through the DMG. Um, oh, I were I was hoping you were gonna like look and be like, oh, I didn't see, didn't you, there. see you there. <laughs> <laughs> We've watched too many movies. Too many. Uh, hi everybody. May I would say not enough. No. Or you don't. Well, I mean, technically, you could open the you could open the map, but it's I've zoomed it in to where it doesn't give away anything. Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Flag and Slayers. Hello, all of my players. Hunter's uh, internet is still doo doo garbage. His words, not mine. And uh, uh, so he will be uh, voice only, but Hunter's personality is big enough that we can see him even when he's talking. Um, that is very true. It, um, but uh, yeah, so in case you missed last week, the party continued exploring the oasis that they had arrived at after defeating a sandworm. Uh, and they soon discovered uh, giant floodgates that could possibly be opened. After uh, surveying for a while, Anzu transformed into a, an octopus and wriggled his way in between the cracks of the old uh, prison <laughs> where he quickly found a large obsidian slab um, that is uh, being used to somehow seal whatever is inside this building uh, permanently inside. Uh, Zygon explored and with the help of Animus and Cirrus found notes um, detailing strange happenings uh, in this desert and perhaps even experiments um, but the rest of the party went to go help Anzu get in to uh, wherever it is he was and uh, Zygon discovered the mechanism that moved all the water out and uh, allowed them to not have to uh, drown uh, but we begin with the party standing on the obsidian slab seemingly perplexed on what to do. No, not really. They know what they're doing. Do we? Do we? Probably. Do we do we? I'll, I'll do about a 70 <laughs> uh, Yeah, I am extremely perplexed on what to do right now. I, don't I know just don't I think mean. we know what we're doing. I you guys like we know, should know what we're doing. I hate when you guys do but this. I just <laughs> don't know what we're doing. Who are we? I don't what even know why I would be here. Dungeons and Dragons. Do you ever wonder why we're here? I've suddenly forgotten how to do magic. Are we just part of an overall board game that makes absolutely no difference in the real world? 
I would say it makes. Why a do difference. I have liquefied heads in my? I bag. would say it makes a difference for me. <laughs> and Brady as your pet cat. <laughs> Smooge. Okay. Smooge. He's been a sweet boy today. Oh, oh I see that your cat rolled his 50-50 on whether to be nice or not and got nice today. <laughs> it worked out. <sighs> Alright, what do you guys want to do? Uh, so we're on the obsidian slab. You're standing on that slab. Is there a way to get in? Uh, harder. You can. You stamp your foot. Oh yeah, we got all that information last time too. I printed it out and stuck it in my notebook. Nerd! Of course you did. Nerd! Nerd Where alert! Well, Where Animus would have done it. Tell us what it says. He wouldn't have printed it out. No, he would have He doesn't it. have a printer. Checkmate, Caleb! Hey! <laughs> you lose. <laughs> you uh -huh, lost D&D. You lose D&D. &D. Uh -huh. So... Uh, yeah, you guys have all this information, you have all this other stuff. Uh, Anzu, do you, you still have the arrow, and it is glowing with a faint, uh, golden, uh, aura. Um, and the arrow is pointing downward, like, into wherever this goes. Um, can I push someone else to go in? I mean, you can do whatever you want. I would like to push uh who's next to me me you um, want to push your niece he was hoping into... it would be me your pregnant niece is <laughs> anyone else <laughs> is <laughs> anyone else <laughs> like animus next to me right now just to clarify for viewers thea's character is not pregnant but a joke made two sessions ago continues to run <laughs> and it was not anzu <laughs> Yeah, no, of course it wasn't. Even though technically that that would be fine, technically it was genetically. Trying to get pregnant right now, you know. Exactly, you know. I heard that. <laughs> um. Amen, sister. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, Brady. Wow. Uh, so we exploring. Jesus. So, so we went from wait, Jacob. Going. Can I just? So we came up from those little places. We, yeah, and then Zygon ended up finding a lever that he pulled that that yeah. allowed the water to drain. He pulled the he he did a cronk. Yep, and then we yes, all sir. just kind of walked into a drier area now. So now you're standing. So where the building starts, right where the roof of the building is, you're now below that about 15 feet, and you're standing on this giant slab of obsidian that, if you look on the edges, has been like fused, like through like um um shaped stone like it's been um fused together with the side of the building to the point where nothing can get in or out okay but does anybody have a diamond pickaxe it'll just take forever it'd be annoying not, not if we put it. netherite on it <laughs> Very sure. uh, I would like to make my packed item a diamond pickaxe. <laughs> Saigon can just cheat at Minecraft. I have. I think Andu is going to do the responsible thing and wait until the group gets there. Everybody is there. You have all okay. convened. I'm going to cast Pass Wall. Boom. Uh, underneath everyone? I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Fantastic idea. Okay. Uh, I need everyone to make dexterity saving throws. He's oh, past wall just there, below he us. He just went, floop! No. Into the Man. core of the world. I need to give uh, you guys a portable hole. I have a feeling would you would just do terrible like things with it. That I would also like to cast Featherfall after. Uh, Featherfall on multiple people? I how many people... <laughs> Oh, cool. <laughs> that is... So, Featherfall... No, that's really Let cool. Let me see. I really here. enjoy that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'll You're pick very... you as one of the people. So, Featherfall... Also, make sure you There's mark one off... One that can turn uh, into a bird. Let's make sure he falls off. Yeah. Um... Uh, so, Anzu... Uh, Featherfall yeah. only works on you or a creature you can see within 60 feet of you. 
Um, so, oh wait, no, hang on. Choose up to what? five falling creatures within range of falling creatures rate. Okay, so you can cast it on everyone. Yeah, yes. you can make it. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> he he okay. he meant to do that. He knew that. Yeah. So you guys begin plummeting, trying to hold on to something when there is nothing there. And before you splat onto the ground, which, just to let you guys know, that was a 70-foot drop. Um, <laughs> yeah. So my 17 probably wouldn't have done it. No. No, that would have been 7 D10. D6. No, yeah, it is D10. 7 D10 fall damage. Oh, that's um, awesome. Yeah. So, right before you guys hit, you float down like a feather and gently land on the floor. Wow. Uh, there is no light in here whatsoever. Uh, so, anyone that doesn't have dark vision, you uh, cannot see at all. I can't hey, see. I can't for see. People, for people with dark vision, it is like um, like you're walking through your house at night and there's a street light across the street that sh kind of shines in. You can't quite see every detail, but you can see just enough not to bump into stuff. I take out the trailblazer. Okay, I there would, you go. I would bring in like a car with pants. <laughs> Animus, Animus Wait, doesn't wear pants. A, a, a Tallahassee trailblazer? No, we are not. Anyway... Okay. Animus doesn't wear pants, as far as I as far as I know. No, he's wearing like a robe. This weapon we'll gives off note. light equivalent to the light spell. Yes. Neat. So Animus pulls out his flail. Uh, it's just light. Yeah, but like uh, I want to know exact dimensions. I believe it's a thirty foot sphere around the source, and then thirty feet beyond that is dim light. Let me. Let me double check. Object says a bright light in a twenty foot radius and a dim ah, light there it is. an additional twenty feet. So I was off by ten feet. Yeah. But yeah. So as Animus pulls Trailblazer out, um <laughs> Hunter, only you're laughing at that. Anyway, um as he pulls it out, uh the room begins to get illuminated. And you cannot see <laughs> You cannot see the edges um, of the room. It's so wide. But um, you see um, a bunch of vats. Like oh, these large, no. like human-sized vats. Not the vats again. Boy, as, does that look familiar? Literally as far as the eye can see. In rows. Oh, shit. Maybe these are the vats from the, from the note. For the viewers. Could you explain yes. what a vat is? Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> a vat... <laughs> We've gone over this like five times. So a vat... Make imagine... sure the viewers know what's going imagine, on. Imagine like a giant jar uh -huh. um, that is human size, Like a jar that is human size. Uh. Yeah. Yes. Are these... Th do these look familiar to me? Yes. Okay. Do they look familiar to me? Do they look like me? Are these similar <laughs> to what we saw in the dungeon, or yeah, in below the frost? With the world? baby Zygon? Yeah, with the baby Zygon. Yes. Are there peep? Are there clones? Or are there make an investigation humanoid check? Humanoid uh, people. Hu are there humanoids? Thank you. you. Got it. Make there an investigation go. check. I just rolled two for by accident. I'm gonna, I'm gonna redo that and just roll one. Probably because he rolled bad on both of them. No, that one was really good, one was really bad. And now I hit the exact bad. average of the two. Nerd. Uh, no one averages. Give me 15. Nerd. <laughs> Nerd. Uh, so, Animus, you get closer to one of these vats, and you see um, what looks like a... Uh, a uh, human man, probably in his early 30s. Uh, floating there, naked, in the vat. Um, but there's something odd. As you look closer, you what, see... The naked man in the vat isn't odd? Well, <laughs> not as odd as you would expect. But you see um, the joints are elongated. Oh. And the arms and legs are kind of spindly. Um... 
and it it seems as though there's some sort of mutation going on. Um, you also look at the hands, and instead of being like normal human hands, they um, they look more like claws, um, almost like a. Uh, I mean, no other way to describe it like a monster. Just like really long, kind of like fingery, sort of sharp, uh, sharp edges. And you see that it's not like talons or something. It is like the appendages themselves, the fingers themselves, have been turned into almost blade-like protrusions. Ew. Mm. Oh my look, God. At, look at little birdie <laughs> chilling back there. She was like, "What's up?" Should we just like go through and start breaking glass, boy? I'm just going down the line. Yeah, I'm going down the line. I want to kind of like look at all the vats. Uh, okay. Make <laughs> well, no, I won't make you make an investigation check. This I think we simple. burn the vats. I think that's the we, move. It's simple. We burn them. Um, <laughs> so you're seeing similar mutations in these other people. Um, you see a few dwarves, a few tieflings. Uh, no one you recognize. Um, but, like, some of them have wings. Some of them have large, like, spider-like fangs coming out of their mouths. Oh, no. Some of them have spines along their back. Like, um, like old-school dinosaurs, you know, how they, like, have those big yeah. spikes. Um, yeah. It's... There's some sort of weird manipulation going on here that is unnatural. Oh, ew. Uh, how many vats do you think, do, or could I think of in this room as I walk around? So if you do math... If I do math. Um, the room is really big, yep. so you're going to have to guesstimate. Okay, so but from just where you're standing... If I do math and I then also yeah. guesstimate because the room is really big, if I put yeah. room equals really big... Room equals over big. Over amount of vats. Yes. Possibly. Um, there are over 200 vats in this room. Cool. We gotta, dip, we gotta blow it up. That's just from what you can, like, count just by looking. They're gonna come hunting us. You also see the vats, um, they have a faint green tint to them like the glass they're using. So basically what it is, is there's a very strong metal base that is like hooked into the, the floor. And then the vat goes up through with this green glass. And then the top is capped with like a, what looks like a submarine. Like, you know, the big door they have on submarines. It's like that. Interesting. Like this, this is much more sophisticated than the vat that you found little Zygon in. Um, that one seemed a lot outdated. Do they, I guess would be the best way there, to is describe there like, it. Do they look like they are still being well maintained? Grown, well maintained. Oh, uh, yeah. It look. This is in full operation. There's no. Oh, these are wow. these are fully operational, much like the Death Star. Okay. Is there like a uh, like a for lack of a better term, like computer? like in the middle of the room or something that like all of them are connected to or is it just cylinders of people it's just cylinders of people you don't see any central computer or central like mechanism like that kind of yeah yeah yes what is thea's question could i try to make like a history check to kind of try to like pinpoint the spot in the room that i remember from my little vision go ahead yeah you have a little vision of this oh yeah I don't remember that. You weren't paying attention. Apparently Ooh. not. <laughs> Come on, note taker, do your job. No, I was probably just not. I mean, I don't take notes on other people's experiences. I only take notes that Animus is involved in. Um, that's a twenty-two. Twenty-two. Uh, <laughs> you do not recognize this room. I thought you said I do. You recognize the cylinders. You don't recognize the room. In the room you were in, there were a lot less pods. Or vats. A lot less. Jane, like, would you... Not even a quarter. Would you consider this... Uh, does this look like it was specifically a built room? Or is it more of like a natural cave that they took over? 
Make a uh there's no masonry. Um make a investigation check. Can that just be a nature check? Mm, if it was a built building, it wouldn't No, nah, just go ahead and make an investigation check. Okay. What if I worded it to Is this a cave? Make an investigation check. Okay. <laughs> uh, fourteen. Fourteen. Um this looks like they have co-opted this building from what it was originally to what it is now okay i was it was i have a spell that would have allowed me to search this area if it was a natural ah. creation by nature. it is it is a building um with zygon's information about like the prisoner logs you can assume that this was the prison that they used during uh or pre-calamity oh oh and then they adapted it into their testing room that that we found uh, no Potentially. <clears throat> um, oh, we're guesstimating. Hey guys, are any of are any of them awake? Uh, uh, none that you can tell. You could tap the glass. It looks like they're in suspended animation. I tap the glass. It makes a toot, toot, toot noise. <clears throat> Do we want to destroy I... these? Yes. Oh. <clears throat> Can I like look through that little jewels loop I found at Grayskull or the yeah, Grayskull keep and just see if I see anything that's like hiding. Um the, yeah, sure. Is that how that works? Like the ethereal realm? Yeah, I can see in the ethereal plane. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so you want, like a perception check or something? No. Um you begin looking around and something you see is there's some there's a white aura around each vat um it's pretty faint but it's like anchored to each vat huh do you feel like magical or like <clears throat> uh, um hard to tell um So, I actually have a secondary thing. I know we probably do want to destroy these, but if we start by destroying them now, it could set off and allow whoever may be here to know that we are here. And we also don't know if these are dormant and these creatures will come to life when we allow them out of this liquid. And if we start a fight, it could break more of them and then we're just in a domino effect of breaking these vats during a fight and then having to fight 200 creatures that have been mutated for the use of the five. I think I could take a few of them. Why do you think that? That makes well, no sense. Well, I'm just saying, why, why don't we just, why don't we explore without making noise or making it known that we're here first and then come back and try to destroy the vats? <laughs> Let's go. We should get Didn't the Didn't I just see you tapping on the vets? I tapped on it to make sure they weren't awake. It was more, Maybe to, make, we should... more to make sure they we weren't awake. don't want to awake. wake them up, but let's let's tap on it. Well, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. No, you're right. We should Maybe we should just start with finding the vest. Yes. All right. Um, to that point, Anzu, the arrow is still pointing directly downward. Don't you do it again. No. I stand no, away from Anzu. I, I, I don't see I stand away also, from Also, Passwall would work on those vats, too. So if you put Passwall underneath all of you, you could accidentally get one of the vats in it, and then it would fall, and then... Yeah. No, thank you. They want a feather fall. <clears throat> well, if you guys don't like it, then we're going to have to find some stairs. Well, yeah, that's... Can I look for some stairs? This is yeah. obviously a room connected to something else, so I guess we just look for an exit so you begin looking around um just passing through um and it's just rows and rows and as you continue through this room it's not 200 it's more close to 500 too many um but as you're going through you eventually see um what looks like a old um staircase and you're beginning to kind of place where everything was. It, it seems as though this room was where um, uh, people were brought for recreation, um, albeit 
not the most stellar of uh, of buildings. Um, but you eventually find a stairwell that does go down. Okay. I found a stairwell and it does go down. Gosh dang it. <laughs> ah, exactly what we were looking for. Guys, I'm going to take my ball and go home. <laughs> my mom said but I no, we're in the wreck area. We can't be taking the ball home. You know, Animus, I've actually been uh, preparing this battle for a while just for this opportunity. It's called Pass Stair. Did you say mm. pasta? Cast stairs. <laughs> That's Cast what I heard. Oh. Uh, it's called pasta. Well, luckily, we, you like it al dente. Luckily, we found stairs, so you don't need to cast any stairs right now. So, I'm gonna start walking down the stairs, but I'm gonna be like very quiet and try to be Sneaky. stealthy about it. I was make stealth checks. <clears throat> yeah. Everybody, make stealth check. I'll follow. Oh, I, I'm following the. Uh, but now we're all making self checks. Guidance. Eighteen. Twenty-two. Who are you using guidance on yourself? Myself. Okay. Anzu, what'd you roll on your self check? Uh, I got a thirteen. Okay. Great. Twenty-three. Nineteen. Twenty. Okay. Twenty-two. And serious, what'd you get? 18? 18. Okay. So you guys begin going down the stairs. I need to know the order. What's the order? I'm first. I'm last. Okay. Uh, I'm still holding the flail, so... I'm you ready to be towards the middle. the middle. Yeah, I'll be in the middle. But okay. I'm ready to put the light away. I'm ready to, like, hide the light under my cloak if, if uh, something happens. That's what a hooded lantern is for. Yeah, but I have I'll this cool back, flail, Jacob. But I have this cool thing, so <laughs> I'm going to cool use it. Flail. Why would I not use the cool flail? That is very true. Um, okay. You give me so a flail that does two things. It gives me light, and it gives me advantage on my initiative. So I'm going to use that it for true. both of those things as much as possible. That is true. Uh, so you guys descend the staircase, and it kind of winds a little bit, and eventually takes a, far, uh, takes a right down into um, what appears to be a prison block. Oh, or was once a prison block. Um, there are more bats down here. Oh, well. Does this one look army. more familiar, or is it the same? Uh, same. It's It doesn't appear to be anything you've seen before. Uh, there's a few, I would say probably about a hundred bats in here. Um, Everything inside the vat look the same? Same deformed people? No. Um, so these appear to be um some sort of creatures and you have seen these things before these are the shadow creatures you have seen uh when you were in the frost weld um i did not like those no they uh they are pretty terrifying <clears throat> but um you see these vats are also the liquid inside is like a blood red so it's kind of making this um weird shade uh, against the green glass. <clears throat> um, if I look through my jeweler's loop, does it have also have like some kind of aura coming it off? Does. Of it does. Yeah, they also mm -hmm. have like a white aura around them. Jacob, do these have a connection to the Shadowfell? Uh, as in my, if something has a, a connection to the Shadowfell, my character has to make a roll to not screech. They, they don't. They remind you maybe of some creatures in the Shadowfell, but there is no direct parallel. Okay. I'm good then. Yeah, you don't really need to roll anything there. Um, uh, so, as you guys kind of move around and see inside some of these prison cells, you see um, long, decayed uh, skeletons. They're just kind of laying there. Um, it appears that whatever caused this place to be sealed some of the prisoners were left inside um hmm. there's also um hmm anzu yes sir i need you to make an arcana check yes sir Um, 
how would you feel if I told you I got a natural one? I would feel very, very pleased. Oh no. Um, you should uh you should be pretty rock hard right now. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I'm that pleased. Um, so, as you guys are moving through here, um, you notice that these vats look a little older. Um, the metal that's containing them um, is kind of more discolored. You also notice that um, the... Uh, the air is a little bit more charged. Like you feel a little bit like you know, like right before a thunderstorm, and the uh, the hair on the back of your neck sometimes stands up a little bit because of the charge. Um, makes my knees hurt. Yeah, it makes my. <laughs> so I dislocated this finger. It's my left. Anytime a storm's coming, this finger starts to like swell up at the joint. It hurts so bad. We're getting old. These vats look older, is that what you said? They look like they've been here a little longer. Yeah, they look a little older. The material looks a little older. Um, you also notice a person standing in the middle of these vats. Like, alive or just... Make an investigation check. I hide the light. Oh, no. As soon as as soon as I would have noticed that person... You I... immediately... Yeah. I can't see. <laughs> Guys, I can't see. Guys, I can't see anything. Uh, seventeen, Jacob. Seventeen. Um, using your keen ranger senses, mm. um, whatever is standing there is not breathing. Um, uh, I don't like that. How is it standing in the middle of the like? So, like the vats are like rows. Yeah. And then in between the two sides, so it's like two sets of rows, right? Two and there's rows. like a walkway. And a walkway. In the middle is this figure. How okay. far away is it? I would say probably about 30 feet. How big is it? A uh, human size. Can I use Hunter's Sense? Uh, yeah. I would like to use Hunter's Sense. I get to okay. know what immunities, resistances, vulnerabilities. They have no immunities, they have no resistances, and uh, vulnerabilities are what any humans would be. So most likely, um, fire and uh, disapproval from parents. So it's human. <laughs> and a millennial. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that joke landed. Brady really liked it. I saw that one. <laughs> Brady's always there. Brady and I have very similar senses of humor, I think. <laughs> we do. <laughs> We're on the same page. Yep. Um, but you can, you, looking closer at this um, being, um, you see they have like pointed ears, um, completely bald head, um, super emaciated, like the skin is pulled taut against the bone, um, almost like a tanned leather at this point. Um, and they're just kind of standing there like this. Is it, does it look mummified? Kind of, almost? Kinda. It's like it's getting there. Yeah, you know, we're mid-process. Can I make a nature I, like, check? Not sure. Hero, just yeah, in, you, just in you case. get ready. Uh, yeah, go ahead and make a nature check. I'm kind of just what trying to what see. are you wanting to know? Is so, the thing. it's mostly going to be like what this creature... I'm going to get closer. I want to know what this uh. creature is, and I want to know if it has any uh if it if it is not alive anymore or if it's like mm -hmm. mummified in place i kind of just want to know like a couple details about like what that process would have been that made it do that if i can figure that out i can make two rolls if i need an arcana check or something okay um go ahead and make a nature check that's fine mm. good thing i have high nature Thirteen. Thirteen. All right. Um. So, as you guys get closer, um, you see these large tubes coming out of this creature's back. Um. 
that seem to be pulling something um, out of them. It's it's and you see it kind of snaking through and going into all of these vats. Um, the nature check you rolled, Animus. Um, as you're getting kind of closer and you kind of pull the light, you see um, something gleams off the off the figure and you see these large black crystals that are kind of sprouting from different parts of the body um and the way that they're standing there is their the body is locked in place um and rigor mortis is set into the point where it doesn't really move but there are these large tubes um, that are in like like syringed or like kind of like an IV into the back of this person and it's four tubes like two near the shoulders and then two kind of lower down on the back those crystals do they look kind of like whenever we um, went and found that cave of like dead elves in the mm-hmm. black spore like what yes. are the different mm-hmm. skeletons oh awesome Yep, very, very simple. Good connection. Nice one. Could I make, like, a medicine check and just, like, see if there's anything else weird going on with this body that I can tell? Define weird. Like... <laughs> it's pretty weird already. Anything reminiscent of the Black Spore. Okay. Maybe if it's, like, potentially undead of some sort. Okay. Like, um, um, if you want to know if it's undead or not, you're probably going to have to cast Detect Undead or... Along, or use an ability that would allow you to. Um, but if Wait, you want actually, to know... I have an ability that uh, I detect Celestial Fiend or Undead. Okay. It's going to be in the same room and it tells me if anything is. Uh, Zygon. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, the thing in front of you is not Undead. No, but the Other 100 things. plus things in the vats are. Oh, awesome. That's and so then cool. the 500 plus things above you also are. Oh, that's so awesome. Um, this is the only dead thing in the room. The rest of it's undead. Or alive. You know, you guys are in the room, too. Awesome. No, no, but I'm going to phrase it like that. Or oh. now. Wait. Um, okay. Can I still make that medicine check, I yeah, guess? Yeah, go ahead. See if I notice anything peculiar. Go right ahead. Are the tubes connected okay. to anything? Uh, they run like snake through the vats, so they're like all they're connected ah. to all the vats. Um, it's just a thirteen. Thirteen. Um, from all your research, uh, this appears to be the final stage of how the black spore spreads, and um, much like a fungus. Uh, kind of like a cordyceps fungus that kind of takes over its host. The crystals will eventually shatter and will spread out more black spore. Um, so it's like the final stage before it spreads. <clears throat> we need to be really careful. I'm just going to whisper it. Yeah. Right. We need to be really careful. Stage whispering. Yeah. Let's, it uh... has the black spore. And it's in the final stage before it sprints. <laughs> I appreciate that you're at least... Never mind. I really tried, um, but it's hard when it's that simple of information. When it's I mean, that you're not specific, wrong. Jacob... Has to you're not wrong. I'm just going to do my nasal spray really quick. Okay, so once again, as I uh, whisper to them, Better once now. again, we probably may want to come back and try to destroy these after we find out more about this building. After. Yeah, yeah. After we find it out. Look, definitely. I was sorry. I meant to agree with you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Um. Because we also. We want to look for more stairs. Prob- or a hallway if we're at a lower level now. I mean, a big thing is. We also are going to want a way out of here immediately if we start breaking these vats and they just, like, these creatures and stuff start coming alive and I can up. plane shift. I yeah, think. Yeah, we can definitely, I can plane shift us. Um, 
I know Anzu has. Uh, if if Anzu's ready for a teleport, we could teleport. Uh... Um, yeah, bitch. If you want. Okay, cool. So we we got it covered. Yeah. Um. You guys do have an exit strategy. I would like to remind you of casting time on those spells. Oh shit. I don't know where my players are. Uh, plane shift. No oh, boy. Plane shift is instant, but you have to touch. Plane same shift is instant, but you have to touch, and teleport is the same thing. Yes. Yeah. So you guys are gonna have to get really close to me. Uh, you'll probably have to smell a little, uh, you know, a little bit of Anzu. Mm-hmm. You wanna get out in time? Is must. Okay. Didn't like how you phrased it, but it sounds good. Um. <clears throat> Which way is the arrow pointing now? Downward. Okay. So we're gonna go more <laughs> exit. More stairs or an exit of some sort. Okay. Uh, I need everyone to make stealth checks. Um, and I'm gonna give Anz. I'm gonna touch Anzu, and I'm gonna give him the blessing of the trickster, so you get advantage. <laughs> Nineteen. These dice are gone. Did you roll poorly? Again, I got a 19. Okay. That's not a d20. I got... A 30. A 30. How are none of my d20s on top? Holy shit, bud. Shut up. Vagon, what'd you get? 13. Okay. Um, Rose so eight, you... I rolled a lucky. Six. Nice. Okay. So if you guys are moving along, um, you eventually do find another <laughs> stairwell by the way. downward. Okay. okay. Uh, you eventually do find a stairwell downward, but this one has begun to rust, and you see that it, the rusted out stairs have been replaced uh, with, uh, with wood, um, and it's just wood boards. It's not like anything made. It's literally just to fill the space where the step used to be. Oh, that's awesome. Um. And it continues going down. And we go on. Okay. I'm gonna be extra careful and quiet. Okay. Same plan for me. I have the flail out, but I'm ready to hide it again. Uh, Zygon, do you have to... Is the detecting of undead for you, is that a passive thing? Or do you have to activate it? I think it's passive. It's my divine sense. Okay, let me double check. I was going to say, I can Google it if you want to keep going. Uh, no, it's not too bad. But uh, you guys do continue down. Um, eventually r- arriving at a room very similar to the last one. It looks like this is another cell block. Um, and once again, there's vats of these shadow creatures. Um you also see another figure that is hooked up with tubes, um, similarly with uh, black spore uh, exposure. I'm trying to remember how you got divine sense. I think it's just my. Uh, it might be like, a cla- I think it's my uh, ability for race. celestials. Yeah, it's a race fate feature, I think. I think I've had it like all along, and I didn't know about it until the last time we leveled up. Well, <laughs> you know what? Better late than never. You know, three years into the campaign, all right. Yeah. <laughs> you can always learn more things as you play D anD. d Might have made Tabitha a little easier to detect. Pot possible. <laughs> Maybe. Not- Maybe. So Tabitha it is. And, it uh, is an activated ability. It is not a passive ability. Okay. 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 How many times can you use it? Uh, I should have seen that. Probably once a long race. Rest, if I had to guess. Let me check. A number of times equal to one plus your charisma modifier per long rest. Oh, so six. I can do it six, six times. times. Nice. Oh, 
All right. So you guys arrive in this room. Uh, the one key difference here is um, that the um, some of the vats are empty. I like that. Um, and it looks as though they're in the process of being like cleaned, almost. Um, another thing that you notice in this room is there. Uh, there appears to be like an observation room. There's like a. Um, the cells are circled by a balcony um, that you guys are actually standing on right now. And the, on the other side of the room where you're coming in from, there's an, a what appears to be like an observation room. Um, I would love to go to the observation room. Make a perception check for me. Actually, everybody make a perception check. Oh, I hide my... Can I also look through my jewelers loop again just to see? Since Same I'm thing the around the vats. Yep. Yeah. I'd like to hide. Or if there's anything the wandering edge. around in the ethereal plane. Too. There is not anything stalking you in the ethereal plane. I hide. Okay. I hide my flail as soon as I, as soon as we see another figure in the middle when we walk in. Okay. All right, Zygon, what'd you roll? Uh, you said perception. Yep. It's uh fourteen. Fourteen. All right. And I would like to use my sense in this room. Okay. Yep. There's undead stuff in those vats. Nothing about the, uh, the thing in the middle. Uh, no, no. It's not undead. Five on perception. Five on perception. That's our Ooh. ranger. Yeah, that's uh, our ranger. <laughs> um, we out okay. here. We out here trying. I rolled a twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Let him cook. Let him cook. I love that meme so much. It's so <laughs> stupid. Um. The official Bears, like Chicago Bears, put that whenever they uh, traded their number we one. We need pick. to talk about that, by the like, way, what? Brady. We need yeah, to talk, we'll talk about that. Here. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. um, so as you guys are going through, Thea, you see something dart through the window of the observation room, and then fall down, and then run into a hallway that goes underneath the observation room, and they are just booking it. Oh. Uh. Oh fuck! I'm chasing after that. Okay, so you do, or do you want to? You'll have to either go down the stairs or hop over the railing. I'll hop the railing. I'll try. Okay, yeah. I need you to make a dexterity, uh, make an acrobatics check. Can I cast a uh, haste on her? Do you have to mention? Uh, if you want to, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. It's either gonna look really cool or look really bad. Could you dimension yeah. door to the other so, side? It's just an eleven. Eleven. <laughs> Okay, well, you get advantage because of haste, and you go two times faster. Okay. That's true. One more. It is worse, so it is an 11. Okay. <laughs> a broken ankle. So you land, and you kind of do, like, a full-on, like, a Black Widow pose, and then you kind of, like, fall forward, but you catch yourself right before you completely fall. And then you start running, and you are double speed. Um... You are catching up to this figure, but you can see as they're running, they kind of like, they're like flickering in and out every so often. It's Jewelers Loop. Uh, yeah, they are going in and out of the ethereal plane. Okay, um, can I cast Blink on myself? Uh, yeah. So I will also go in and out of the ethereal plane. Do I, can I tell what it is? Uh, it looks to be a humanoid of some sort. Okay. They're um, wearing, um, from what you can tell, they're wearing um, uh, long robes, and you see a, a symbol on their back, like in between their shoulder blades, of what looks like a woman who is both alive and dead at the same time, like cut down the middle. Um, that's like, familiar, right? Is that something to do with Winnow Gear? It is. It is. That is the symbol of her church. Um, okay. So you both are blinking in and out of uh, the ethereal plane as you guys are running. You are catching up to them, but you notice um, that the hallway opens up, and um, I need you to make a uh, just a standard dexterity check. Um. Um, I think it's just a 13. Let me double check. They're not a very dexterous person. Um, yeah, it's just a 13. So, um, you can catch them, 
But if you do, you will be going into the next room and you don't know what's in there. So what do you want to do? Do you want to choose to catch them and like tackle them or like what do you want to do? Um, I want to. Oh my god, I'm so sorry if you can hear Birdie. I don't know what the fuck the problem is. We barely hear. Yeah. Um, I'm going to. Can I try to cast Polymorph on it and turn it into like a newt? <laughs> the classic newt. The newt <laughs> always. Uh, let me see. Or wait. No, that's a great idea. I like that idea. And then you <laughs> step on him and kill him. Oh no, but yeah. I can at least catch him. You can be a pet. Yeah, so it's a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> if you want to. Let, me fishy. Check, let me double check this other spell really quick because I never use it. Okay. Um, I have an update on the Oscar as well. Abby is checking her thing. Does anyone care to hear it? Yeah. No. Oh, oh, never mind. Can I use her? Uh, can I use the orb to go to her? Uh, if you would like, yeah. I would do that. You're gonna have to run though if you do that, answer. Like you're gonna have to run to keep up. We can do oh. we can do Oscar updates after. And, and you have little do gnome legs. I will do it. Okay, so you teleport. You appear as Thea is running, blinking in and out of the ethereal plane, but you're you're trying to keep up with them, and they are quickly outpacing you. Does it look like a rave, but it's a light to people? Uh, they don't produce a light. It's more of like uh like Goku's instant transmission. They're there, and then they're not there, and then they're there, and then they're not there. Kind of like that. <clears throat> I actually instead want to do, um, I want to try to use Dominate Person. Ooh, okay. And then I want to yell Halt. Okay. It's what is your like spell save, DC? Uh, I think like 22. Oh, wait, no, maybe it's 20. It's 20. It's your wisdom plus eight plus proficiency bonus. Yeah, it's twenty because my wisdom went up. Hold person is a wisdom Dominate saving person. throw. Dominate person, my bad. Six plus six is twelve. Did Will Smith win anything this time around? Oh fuck. Uh not yet. Not yet. I'm Still holding out time. hope, though. Gotta attack someone first. Ooh, maybe he could do bet. Uh, maybe he'd get an award for best stunt. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I don't mean to bash you, Will Smith. I actually kind of like Will Smith. Um, okay, wisdom saving throw. It's a charm effect. Last for a minute, unless I cast it at a higher level, which I'm not gonna do. Um. And it doesn't, um, I don't think it, ha it makes a new wisdom save until it takes damage, and I'm not intending to damage. What's your spell save, DC? 20. I rolled a 22. Oh. Cool. Okay, um. So you try to hold person, or dominate person, and you see them kind of slow down for a second, and then they keep going. Um. I do a hold person. You sure can try. But you're you're close to getting out of range, Anzu, if you don't do it quickly because uh little gnome legs. Uh, I wanna say I that do it. Okay. Strike again. Uh um, what's your spell save DC, Anzu? It's your it's your intelligence plus eight plus your proficiency bonus. Twenty. Okay. And this is also a wisdom save. It works. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, so hold person. Is They're still see blinking see. in and out, but the spell is taking. Well, actually, wait a second. Hold person only works if you guys are on the same plane. Well, uh, if it blinks yeah. back in and you use hold well, person. Well, if they're in the same count. plane whenever I cast it, wouldn't it hold them to the same plane? The problem is, is that Blink would still be active. Ah, uh, yeah, so they would Blink back. And then it would it would disappear. Well... I don't know, this is weird spell interaction. 
Because well, hold person doesn't get rid of their blink. So they would blink again after they get held. Yeah, because they're not taking damage, which means they won't have to do a concentration check. It just says that you can see what they move. Hmm? But all it says is that choose a humanoid, choose a humanoid that, can that can be seen within range. The target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or be paralyzed for the duration. At the end of each of its turns, the target makes a wisdom saving throw on a success. The spell ends. Um, blink. Bloody shot. Because they go on a different plane of existence, so they can pass through things in our existence, right? Oh, crazy bird. Ah, you can only be affected in, uh, you can only affect and be affected by other creatures on the ethereal plane. Creatures that aren't, can't perceive you or interact with you unless they have the ability to do so. So, the hold person would work while they're in the prime plane, and then they would blink out while being held. So what this will do is it will slow them down just enough for Thea to catch them without getting into the room. Can I grapple him then? Yeah, so... And since you're both blinking... Um, I'm gonna grapple him in the ethereal yeah. plane. Yeah. So you uh, make a grapple check. Okay. Are they blinking at the same exact time, though? Or uh, are they off-putting each other? It's, or it's like when you're at a stoplight and you have two indicators on it's like so just strange. just yeah. off yeah that would be annoying okay, um this is 13. i rolled a natural 20. i hate you <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. you're not the first player to tell me that no, get in line sister okay um can i try to at the i don't know what the fuck to do at this point um can i no, you have haste. You have uh, two actions. That oh, was shit. her second action. It was dominate person and then grapple. But now, it, it, there's no... it. The action economy does not work unless you're fighting, so it doesn't super matter. This is more of like... This is more of like an interactive chase. So you try and grab them, but they, they kind of roll out of the way, and your blink is a little off from there, so like... They fade out of the ethereal plane right before you do, so you guys aren't in the same plane at the same time um, for long enough to really get a grapple, but you have knocked them down, and they're trying okay. to get up and continue running. Can uh, I cast a spell magic on them? It's... Yeah. To stop the blinking? Let me look. Man, this is so much... Blink is such a weird spell because it interacts so weird with everything else. Are either of you guys doing anything serious in Zygon? I, cause I, I was kind of trying to let them do this. As a I'm point. so confused of why Thea just darted for no reason and then... Anzu darted. Anzu's gone now, so I'm just, I don't, I don't know what's going Dude, on. Dude, there's absolutely no light in here. Or Sorry, is there I don't light? usually like to run off on my own, but I was like, I'm not. There is no light. Is yeah, there not light coming the... up off on the vats or anything? Nope. Probably not the smartest thing for me to follow. Okay. I'm going to move to the, obser to the observation. So, any spell you can, you can dispel magic. Ends. And then blink is a third, third level up. spell. So it just uh, ends. And yeah. Cast so you you dispel magic, and they are no longer blinking, but they are still running. Um. If you don't catch them within this next action, they will make it to the next room. I am gonna pull out my wand of paralysis. Okay. Ooh. This is a callback. Deep callback. Deep pull. Um. No, wait. I want to cast the 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 fucking the wall, the invisible wall of force. Wall of force. Well, that can yeah, we can do um, that. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna use that. He has to make a DC 15 con save or be paralyzed for one minute. Fails. Yes. So you hit them with the wand of paralysis and they skid across. You see them actually hit their chin on the stonework and uh, like, um, like a small burst of blood comes from their mouth as they have most likely bitten their tongue pretty hard. Yeah, um, I want to teabag them. <laughs> oh my god. Don't, didn't gonna, know like, we were, didn't know we were playing Halo, but okay. <laughs> I'm going to grab yeah. him by the cloak and like pull him up. Okay. And I'm going to look at him. Like, What do I see? Uh, you see someone who has uh, 
no ears, their eyes are gone, and you see their tongue is also missing. <laughs> oh, God. The they bit their tongue off when they hit the ground. No, it's it it's no gone. Oh, okay. There's no, There's there blood. is no tongue. I thought you said so, when they hit the ground, blood came out of their mouth like they bit their tongue. Yeah, he like they that. bit their tongue. Okay, okay, okay. I was but it's say, coming from somewhere oh. else. Which means Where's he did not bite his tongue. No. Because there's Where's no tongue the bite. It's also really hard to tell how old this person is. The skin is very taut. It, oh, it's no. very similar to the elf that has the tubes in it. Um... Yeah. I really should. Can I insight my... check? Does this feel like a real person or like a diversion of some sort? Uh. Make a religion check. Okay, at least I have advantage on those. Um. Uh, I believe it is a. It is a 15. 15. Um, as you look closer, um, it appears as though they were close. they had their eyes closed, and you see the eyelids, like, slowly rise up, and you see two jewels where the eyes normally would be, um, and with Anzu being there, you can also help. Um, this is a demi-lich. Oof. Um... Uh-oh. Normally, demi liches are just floating skull heads, uh, but this one has arms and legs. So for so for reference here, let me see if I can find the demi lich in here. Uh, Jacob, as a point of reference, I as soon as Anzu would have taken off, I would have tried to follow him, but then as soon as I saw that they went down a Jesus. hallway, I would have stopped and probably gone to the observation room instead. So this is normally what a demi-lich looks like, so this is kind of what you're looking at, except it has skin and, you know, a spine and stuff. Gross. Um, that's disgusting. <laughs> you um, say that to him? Gross. <laughs> Gr <laughs> you're gross. Ew. Oh, what are you? <laughs> Icky. Ew. Um, Ew. 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 <laughs> oh man, throw back to that. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna look at it and I'm gonna say, "Can you speak?" No response. Oh. I'm gonna pull out. I'm gonna put my wand of paralysis away and I'm gonna pull out my Moonweaver's lament. I'm gonna put it to like its jugular, like under the chin. I'm going to say, can you speak? No response. Uh, I will ask you to pick and speak by use of message. Okay. Hmm. 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 I'm so tense right now. Hmm. Uh, no response. <clears throat> I'm going to... What am I going to do? Um... I'm going to stab it. Okay. And I'm going to use one of the charges on the sword to okay. find out what the next intended action is. Ooh. Uh, you don't deal any damage. As you stab cool. it, the you go into the robe and you see as you pull your sword back, just seemingly living shadow starts curling out and you hear the screams of like souls kind of like what happens when animus does his you know like his screechy noises that don't down and it's so loud noise. they're screechy noises don't do that to me <laughs> they're the screams of souls that's the that's what they are 
I need... I need you and Anzu to both roll constitution saving throws. Okay. I want to say... Maybe I just am proficient in this. Yeah, I think I'm just proficient. Okay. <clears throat> you see the mouth, the bottom jaw just... Kind of crack open. Well, I and... was I was pointing it at its head. Uh huh. Would I not stab it there? There's nothing to stab. Got a twenty. There's no 21. head. There stab? is a head, but the it's just a skull. Like there's um, nothing. Like it I would like scrape. Why did it have skin? Uh, well, I'll explain that in a minute. I'm so confused. Okay. Stab anyway. The skull. Constitution um, saving throw. 14. 14. Thea, you immediately drop to zero hit points. Oh, oh shit. Um, <laughs> Anzu, you are frightened until the end of the next turn. But there's not going to be a next turn because you're not in combat. But Thea, you do drop to zero hit points. Oh, that's awesome. So, Anzu, as this scream, this guttural, just the scream of suffering blasts out of this demi lich, and you guys can hear it from where you guys are it echoes down the hallway we're playing like rock paper scissors yeah go fish go fish is the right. go-to uh, um anzu you see thea her her eyes roll into the back of her head and her body just collapses and then you see the robe kind of shreds and tatters away and where there you thought there was arms and legs you just see this ethereal um form made up of what appears to be like damned souls that are kind of all coiling much like snakes and uh, all of them are screaming every once in a while we see a face kind of poke out from the shadow and scream and just uh, it, it is a frightening thing to, be to behold and you see as Thea collapses the demi lich head begins to float down the hallway away from you and answer to your relief it's leaving because you are frightened uh, but yeah Thea is at zero HP you are unconscious Expecto Patronum. <laughs> That's against Dementors. Uh, Demuliches are not Dementors. <laughs> I'm going to go grab her. Uh, I'll go grab her and give her a health potion. Okay. A stag starts hopping around. 8 4 plus 8, I think. Yeah. Yeah. You can roll that. That's what I get for running off on my own, I guess. They know we're here now. Lesson learned, Jacob. Yeah. Uh, so I. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> it's always listening, Jacob. Whenever I tried to follow Anzu, uh, and then when I got to that hallway, I decided not to because I don't have dark vision and my light would mm -hmm. give off too much. So instead, I went to the observation room. When okay, as soon as Anzu went down the hallway, so. I don't know All how much right. time that gives me in the observation room before the screeching noise, but... 26, Thea. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> Thea, you regain consciousness with 26 hit points. Ah, man. Um, a lot. So, uh, we'll kind of rewind a little bit. So we'll say about a minute before. Uh, you guys see Thea has just darted down and Anzu has teleported away. You guys go to the observation room. I need all three of you to make an investigation check. Come on, new dice. <laughs> Jacob, that is a fuck you. Ooh. Oh, that's natural. a natural 20. That's a 20. I got close nice. to that. <laughs> I was trying to remember which one that was, and I was like, oh, it's the one that's bad for me. Yes. 24. Fuck you, and one is a fuck me. Okay. Oh, it's got to download stuff. Uh... And Zygon, what'd you roll? Or, uh, what kind of check was it? A uh, investigation. Uh, investigation check. Perfect. Then it was... 17. 17. So if you guys get into this room, um, you see old paperwork, um, and you see a log book, and it, it appears to be like um, a... Um, Like a, t a, a it looks time like Hunter, we can hear Shay. Purple one, but it's green. Hunter, mute. <laughs> Hunter, mute your mic. Hurry. 
Hurry, Hunter. Um, Hunter. Yeah. Hunter, hurry, 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 hurry. Hunter. Anyway, no, it doesn't matter. Um, so you guys, um, you guys find these log books, and it appears that this is a, um, it, it's talking about how many of these shadow creature things are being produced. Um, and doing some quick maths, uh, within the last few weeks, over a thousand have been created. Uh, oh no. We're in some trouble. This yeah. is this is building an army. It's like Star Wars. Yeah, this um This is a little bit larger than I think we might have thought. If they're building an army to then be able to have that go out on, into the world on the day uh coming up. I forget what that day is called. The zenith. Thank you. Zenith. The old, the, the day that's coming up. The old, that day coming up you know, tomorrow. The, the one thing with the thing. It's you know the that one. That day that's after tomorrow, that's after tomorrow, that's after tomorrow. That's, you know. um, but as you guys are kind of investigating this thing, you hear the screeching uh, and the screaming uh, <laughs> coming from down the hall. Should we, we should probably go check that out. Yeah, I just don't have any dark vision right now, and I can't see, and I don't want to bring a light down there. I mean, Anzu's a very powerful wizard. He is a healer, and surely they could handle whatever's I, out there. I mean, I think we're, <laughs> I think we're done in this room. We probably go after them. Should probably at least at least go at like a brisk walk. I'm taking the logbook. Okay. Ooh, is there any is there anything shiny, Jacob? Uh, what'd you roll on investigation? Natural 20. Natural 20. Uh, you find, um, some really, really old gold. Like, there's a face of a dude that you don't recognize on it. Um, but you find 20 gold pieces kind of scattered throughout. Nice. I'll take it. <laughs> Is there any other books? I'm sorry, out? Oscar update. <laughs> Uh, no. Dude, dude from the Talking Heads is dancing with everything everywhere at once. Hot dog fingers. Oh my god. That's amazing. I love... It's everything uh, I wanted. Isn't that David Breen? David Byrne? David Byrne, Byrne. Yeah. yeah. You said no to books, Jacob. Yeah, no other okay, now books I, that you can see. Can someone please lead so that I can follow them towards down the hallway so I don't have to bring the light out? I'm just gonna put my hand. That sounds up. like a job for our ranger. Uh, I kind of look at Saigon. Fuck. All right. <laughs> I put my hand uh, on uh, Sirius's like back shoulder. I like I. I... <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You can walk now. <laughs> All right. I'm you just need to hold hands like we're in kindergarten. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Start walking in a line. So after um, about a minute, you guys make it to where Thea and Anzu are. You see Thea um, looks a lot paler than she did uh, when she leaped down. Uh, but she is uh, sitting with her back to uh, the wall. And Anzu is uh, kind of standing by her, making sure that she's okay. I cast heal on myself. Okay. Oh, I could have healed and you. And then I took a potion, so I'm back up to 126. All right, so Thea is back. Uh, but now you guys know the That's... the danger of a Demi Lich. They can instantly down you. That's good. That's really good. It is, actually. Is it... It's very cool. It's really cool of you, Jacob. Um, Thea, yeah. what? Has it ever crossed your mind that, um, you know, why why are we the ones, you know, doesn't the Mon have an army? I, you know, I'm just saying, I was a drug addict maybe three months ago. Uh, a year ago. You uh, run away. This was like a year ago, but sure. Yeah, sure months are know, hard. Early onset. Yeah, when you're that old, your, gla you're your glaucoma old. starts hitting and all that. <laughs> You find out your niece is you're pregnant, sued. your glaucoma is hidden, do. early <laughs> onsets, you're wearing a diaper, all the above. When you're over 200. 
think mm-hmm. Anzu's two. No, he's like three seventy five. I think. I thought you were two seventy five. Yeah, I thought you were two seventy five because most gnomes don't live mm-hmm. to be three hundred. I thought you were two seventy five hundred. At this point, probably, I would say I've I've probably had a birthday. Today's the math. I'm just kidding. I don't know my birthday. Well, if it makes you just wow, Edge Lord. <laughs> I have also died. I don't know my birthday. I was born in shadow. As, as he does like an emo hair. Yeah, as he flip. flips his feathers. <laughs> I like, mean, I mean, I that's pretty just, true. It's like, <laughs> that's like, great. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, Caleb. You, you'll get there. I don't think You're my close. Long enough to get anywhere. You're close enough. You can do a flip. Take the headphones off. You can definitely do it. You can absolutely do it. Oh, he's going to try. Oh, no it's way. You got to do the reverse. There, gotta... was. <laughs> there you go. There now you go. Look... Now your I bangs are looking weird. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need to do. Make them look weird. Yep. Maybe tease them a little bit. Give them a little. Yeah, exactly. Just give them a little. I guess <clears throat> being insta-killed is a little humbling, so... We've all been that there. happened to me. Yes, it's, it's true. I can't Even say. Though. Anzu got <laughs> Anzu got fingered of death. He got he got fingered to death. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob did it. Let's go. Jacob. Let's go. Jacob. Jacob. Let's go. All right. That was a good one. You did it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sex joke. Whoa. <laughs> Welcome to the flag and slayers, everyone. <laughs> we did it. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. We got him. <laughs> uh, Thea, how are you feeling? Do you need any? Do you need any help there? I'm fine. Okay. Thank you, though. <clears throat> uh, so you guys can see from where you are currently. I can't. Um. Well, yeah, you can't. But whatever. Uh, <laughs> you space uh, on hey, Thea, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm, looking, I can see more. I'm looking like at the wall and Thea's like Thea, you next good? to me on the lake. Yeah, yeah, like you're looking at the wall and you're like, Thea, I like, are you okay? I like reach out and I'm like touching like Anzu's shoulder. Thea, are you okay? You're not sure. I really anymore. hope they do a dark vision <laughs> joke in Dungeons and Dragons the movie. I kind of oh. hope they do a, a yeah. joke. I'm so excited. I heard it's been getting good uh, reviews, mm-hmm. early reviews and everything. Mm-hmm. So we'll see what happens. I'm excited. All right. Uh, so you guys can see, unless you don't have dark vision, that about um, probably about 60 feet in front of you, uh, the hallway opens up. Hey, guys, what do you hmm. see? Stuff. Oh, I, see, I? I see a hallway. Yeah. Uh huh. Seems to be oh. opening up. Okay. About how, like about, five, you, so. about how far? About how far? 60-ish feet <laughs> that way. Okay, good. Wait, what's I that way? Can you, hold on, can you point my arm? Yeah, let, me, let me hold your hand that way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> can I, like, sneak up? You and have just, dark like, vision goggles. <laughs> yeah, but they take an hour to attune to. That is true. What are you wanting to do, Thea, my bad? And just, like, stealth up and just, like, take a peek. I'm not doing anything very rash. I just would like to see what's going on. Yeah, make on. a stealth check for me. Can I make a joke about cock goggles once? Yeah, you've done that a few times. I'm um, I don't know, Hunter. I don't pretend to know how your mind works. I rolled a 21. Oh, great. You're rolling. Awesome. And multiple times. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, you stealth up. Um, you can see in the room, you see three points of light in the room, kind of glowing with like this purple energy. And the rest of the room seems empty. Jeweler's loop? Uh, uh, yeah, you don't really see anything else. Uh, I'm going to go back to the group. I don't okay. really see anything else. Well, they know we're here. Oh. That one was forced, and you know it. <laughs> I'm not sure. What, what, what do we? Well, I shouldn't be leading the way, so someone just decide what we do. I will. I lead suggest the way. that we put animus with a stick in front. <laughs> I already have a stick. I'm 
I'm halfway there. Well, there you go. What are you doing? You start tapping. Yeah, <laughs> stick is up his ass. Boom. God damn it. God. <laughs> God. Burn. Sirius, I need your shoulder oh. again. Oh. Okay. All right. I need everyone to make stealth checks. Jacob, do my senses go up these. since I'm I can't I'm not very see. good. No. You're not Daredevil. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. 35. 16. 28. 23. Okay. No, 20. No, 29. Also, Anthony, you still have advantage for an hour. Oh, okay. Hold on. I rolled a 9. Yeah, trust me, you're going to want to keep the 16. I just want to prepare all of you. Remember when I said that the campaign was going to ramp up into its final stage? Stop saying that. Did we hit the ramp? This is the beginning of the ramp. Yeah, he well, just what do you want me to do? Do you want me to commit seppuku with my fucking staff? I, I do not. I don't think it's sharp enough, first off. and Is, is, uh, no. is this like a quarter pipe, or is this like a... Am oh I, man, it, it's like... Uh, going down into like big air kind of thing? Or we're doing a thing? big air. It's big, big air, air Bert. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, Dude, man, I love big air are... competitions. Oh, they're so cool. Hey guys, I... especially especially when Jake Brown smashes his shins on the coping. That's a great time. <laughs> guys, I just... oh my god, that was oh. awful. Anyway, oh. I just want to let anyway. you know if we get in a fight, we're gonna need some light for me. You can't kill me. Who's gonna take care of Bertie? Shit, I'm not gonna right. kill you. I'm just gonna kill the part of you that you've put in this game. Bertie. I would like to suggest bringing an army again. They've already created an army. We need to find the the long. Yes, uh, we need a battalion. The also the arrow is pointing down the hallway. All right. Did we like throw the arrow? What's happening with the arrow? Are Andrew's holding it, it, and it kind okay. of moves like a okay. like the center of a compass. We're close okay. enough now. It's starting to. Fall yeah, opposite of the opening, sixty feet away. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is there any chance we walk in there and there's like a greeting party and like? No, like you did I mean, it. You there is a greeting me. party, but I don't know if you want them to greet you. Awesome. Shake them. In. Uh, D and D D and D rules question. Yes. So find traps. There's a second level spell. Yes. Yes. Can I cast it at a third level, even though it doesn't do anything if I cast it at a higher level? You you can do that with all spells. Okay. Uh, it'll just use the high level, level spell level. slot. I just can't cast it as a first level spell. Yes, exactly. You can't all, also. I don't believe cantrips can be cast at higher levels. No. Um. Yeah. It's so they cantrip, level let cantrips level up with your character. Yeah. <laughs> all right. What are you guys I'm doing? Gonna just, I'm gonna sigh. Okay. And then I'm gonna take another health potion. Do we want to okay. plan? Do we want to like start walking? Do we want to plan? You like to take a short the, uh... rest for an hour? Right here. I need. They know I need to know. I need to know order. My hand is on Sirius's shoulder, so that's the order for me and him. Are you leading? No, no, I'm behind Sirius. Sirius is leading. I don't know. <laughs> Not what I, I said. I, I just want I to said. specify, you want your archer who needs range to function no, to be the leader all. of the party. What I said was, I am just behind Sirius with my hand on his shoulder. Anyone else okay. can go ahead of Sirius. To who is in front? Oh, fuck. I'm the only, like, melee person here. Son of a... Do we f have to go here. single file? <laughs> uh... It's like a. Or can we like all a, just like go at the same time? The, the hallway is. Why don't you just the, shift into something that has dark vision? The hallway is too wide, so you guys could walk shoulder to shoulder if you wanted okay. to. <laughs> so who, are, who is in front, or who are I'll two in people front. in front? All hey, right. hey, hey, hey. Just Eldritch right. Blast, everybody. Is someone walking next to Zygon? Now, if I'm going to be in front, I'm going to pull out my fucking uh, maul, though. Oh, maybe right, so I'm actually... The so... maul appears in your hand, and it does give off a faint light. Like, oh. very faint light. Not enough to act as oh. a torch or anything <laughs> but yeah. it, it glows with like a faint red kind of like an infernal red but animus uh, can see zygon 
So Ser uh, it's very think? creepy. He's kind of hey. he's kind of a gaunt looking person. <laughs> And he's got like a soft light coming from below him, so it's kind of it's kind of Nosferatu y. Um, I'm gonna put my in I'm gonna put my hand on <laughs> on Zygon's shoulder. Cyrus, I'm gonna give you the chance to uh, be in the back for range. Are you walking next to him or behind him? Behind him. I thought we were in this together. We Anders. are. I'm trying to make sure we're you stay back together. so you can use your arrows. I see. I see how it is. I have my hand on both shoulders. Yeah, and you <laughs> literally can see how it is, unlike Animus. Hey! Nice. <laughs> Alright, so who's going in behind Zygon and Animus? Okay, Thea's in the middle. And Andrew the Brave will be, a, will be next to Thea. Okay, and then Sirius will bring up the rear. I'll bring up the rear. Alright. You get rushed from behind. <laughs> hey, this is like a cold, dark place, right? It's pretty cold and dark, yeah. Is there like a chance that maybe goblins have been through here? No, not at all. <laughs> so, How yes. old is it? <laughs> not even uh, where I, I in jail a long that. time ago. I need for what a cup of it. for what he wants. No, no, there's okay, no way. The goblin I need. Piss. I need... <laughs> I need half okay. a cup of goblin piss. I need three black beans, one whole carrot, one tablespoon of lobster saliva or milk. Is this for the two cups? Cream? Cream? I think you just mixed yes. up your shopping yes. list. Yes. Did you write your shopping list with your glaucoma? <laughs> glaucoma does not hinder you from writing a shopping list. It might for Anzu. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? You're talking he about might... him being crazy plus the glaucoma. I mean, true. Um... Okay, Zygon. Uh, Sears, make a stealth check. Sears, did I ever, no, did I ever give you a wand of magic missile? I think no. you did, yeah. Did, did you? Yeah, I thought I did. I, I yeah. vaguely remember you doing I remember that. it. I remember. Go ahead and go ahead and put it on there, because magic missiles hit are insta-hits. Like, you don't even have to roll for them. And I think you can shoot four magic Takes missiles like an hour per charge. For no, he doesn't have to. He doesn't have you to. You don't attune, attune to, wands. to a wand. It's just yeah. A, you don't attune to wands. Weapon he can pull They're out essentially the guns of D and D. You don't need yeah. any training to use them, and they can hurt people. <clears throat> I'm gonna I, love it. I was still on my. Thank you for breaking it down and speaking American for me. Yeah, you're welcome, my <laughs> American comrades. <sighs> that's, that's, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's not quite right. Uh, I see what you're going for. <laughs> Siri, I'm not talking to you either. Oh my god. Oh my Well, I said devices, something man. vaguely communist, so they had to be alerted. <laughs> yeah. Right. The officials. Yeah. I rolled a uh, dirty 20 on the stealth chip. All right. Jacob, I cast uh, False Life, giving myself temporary 1d4 plus 4d uh, HP. Did you okay. drink unicorn blood? It's gonna be seven. Unicorn That's a Harry blood. Potter joke for oh, me. I need goblin piss. What are you talking about? Uh, this is cool. Okay. So as you guys enter this room... La wait, wait, last thing. Okay. Before we're about to walk into this. Okay. <laughs> You're cutting it close, counselor. I know. Uh, I'm gonna pull out one of the mushrooms that I have scavenged because this okay. this is a useful point. Animus, this is not the time to get high. Cirrus, chew this. Oh. I'm gonna hand it to Cirrus, and then spit it out almost immediately. You want to chew it around for a sec? Spit it out. I'm what gonna does it smell like. I don't know what I'm gonna it? give one to each of you guys. So what are which mushrooms are these? Uh, these are this diarrhea mushrooms. Purple and red polka dot mushrooms. They're fatal if eight, but if you chew them and spit them out, a random elemental resist uh, is given to you for, oh, a, for a minute. Okay, oh, I like okay. that. That's fun. Wait, hold on, hold All on, right. hold on. I didn't read the last part. After you get that random elemental resist, at the end of the minute, you get one point of exhaustion. But that's only against ability checks, not against saving throws, so it's not a huge issue in a fight. <laughs> So the DM question: What if, uh, what if the enemy you go up against can give you points of exhaustion? 
maybe right. it doesn't. So this is uh, your guys' choice if you want to. I explain it. Wait, if you uh, what, what is the what's the ultimatum? So you get an elemental resistance, but after a minute, which in combat is ten rounds, after ten rounds of combat, you will gain a point of exhaustion, which gives you disadvantage on all ability checks. Only ability checks, though. Mm, uh, checks, not not attacks, checks and not only... saving throws. Do you think that this is, these things are going to deal elemental damage or know. necrotic damage? I mean, we necrotic can leave is... them auto. Well, so your elementals are fire. Uh, lightning, thunder, uh, water. Well, water's not really one, but it, 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 fire. I think I said fire twice. It doesn't matter. Avatar rules. Here we go. I think I'll save mine for another day. I'll, I'll, if you don't, if you don't take them, I'm gonna hold. I'll just keep them on me, and then I'll Cheers. make sure I have everyone else's. I'm gonna oh pretend to take mine. Is and it just serious? Okay. That's me. Uh-huh. Make a slide of hand check, Anzu. Bottoms up, I guess. I don't, I can't see. Two. Oh, yeah. Two? Does everyone watch him? Yeah, Animus that? can't see you, so everyone else sees it, but not Animus. Cool, cool, guys. <laughs> I I chew on it and spit it out. I, I chew on it for like 37 seconds. Okay, okay and then... I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, no. <laughs> as long as you don't swallow it, you're fine. That's the point of it. But chewing it that long, you might swallow a little bit on oh, accident. He's fine. You said Constitution? Yep. That's a 10. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. (laughs) I just wanted to add a little bit of tension before, you know. Classic Jacob. The uh, the more tension. That is a a very common move of mine. I have Um, one singular question. Can I have my sword and then the Wand of Paralysis in a different hand? Yes, you can. Who will? You're doing a regular Gandalf here. Um... Uh, Sirius, roll a d6 for me. Yep. Here's my fancy, uh, crown zenith die. Nice. That's a one. A one? You gain resistance to lightning damage. Oh, that might be good. That might be a really good one, considering we felt a charge earlier. Okay. We go in. So as you guys sneak in, um, as you get closer... You see the purple lights that were emitting. You can look at the map now. The purple lights that were emitting were uh, one demi lich, and then you look to your right and you see another demi lich. Oh god! And then you look to your left and you see a third demi lich. That's super awesome. But that's not all. Are all these demi liches? No, 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 no. 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 No, so was Jacob was as, like, you guys thought fighting was easy? Ha! As you guys enter the room, the floor begins to glow with a faint purple energy and kind of produces what looks like this wafty sort of smoke. And Zygon, you follow the smoke up and you see on the ceiling of this room corpses. Oh no. They're so dangling. Awesome. Ever so slightly back and forth. This is what we and get then, for beating the shit out of his other creature the other the, day. No, I had this planned before then. But it does make me feel good. Uh, <laughs> as the smoke reaches the top, you see... As the eyes and mouth begins to open on all of these zombies, and you see the chains that are suspending them snap as all of them begin hitting with a, a fleshy, wet sound, and then they reassemble, kind of just <laughs> striding towards you. I need you all to roll initiative. So, uh, hey. the Demi Liches are going to have an initiative, and the Zombies will have an initiative, and the Zombies and Demi Liches both act as groups. So, when one takes their turn, they all take their turn. So, are the so, Zombies the green guys? The Zombies are the green guys! And then the liches are the... <laughs> are the purple guys. Jake, was there any light in here? No. Oh, what the fuck, Jake? Oh, <laughs> there, yeah. there is, there is oh. like a faint purple glow throughout the entire room. Um, So I will say it's enough for dim light. Like you can see... So Animus, just for you, you can see five squares in all directions. Just uh, where you are. <laughs> just for, um, for flavor before we, uh, initiative goes... Uh, hey guys, how bad is it? 
Uh, oh, you, um, you just keep <laughs> beating that. that stick of yours, and um, we'll get to the end. You think I can Animus? just stop um, running through and... Animus, it is a code brown. Ah, code <laughs> brown. Did you shit your pants already? No, but you're about to. <laughs> uh, secondary thing, Cirrus, you better figure out what those Demi Lich's uh, stats are as soon as you can. Uh, yeah, I would highly suggest that. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, that, that Each one of these squares is five feet. Oh, also, did you God. say the liches were glowing themselves, like purple glowing? The liches are, we're the we're demi liches glowing. are, they're floating skull heads, and you see their bodies are made up the so of the souls that they sacrificed in order to make their phylacteries. Not sure. what now? Cool. Fun yeah. stuff. That's they're fun. phylacteries. So the way liches work... Don't use large words with me, Jacob. Uh, it's essentially, um, like... Speak American. Use guns. <laughs> Okay, uh, the phylactery is the magazine that you slide into the Glock. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. And you fill it with soul bullets, and you use these soul bullets to make sure you don't die. Yeah, because a good lich well. with a gun beats a bad lich <laughs> with a gun. Right? Uh, I'm sorry. Amen, brother. Amen. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Praise hell, praise Dale, am I right? <laughs> Alright, everyone roll initiative. Alright. 22. 22. Oh, we'll do we'll do the whole thing. It'll, it makes it easier for me. 22. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. Uh Okay. Zygon, what'd you get? Twenty one. Twenty one. Animus? Twenty. Okay. So it goes. Look at our initiative, guys. Look at us. Anzu, what'd you get? 18. Okay. Okay. Imagine rolling an 18 being the last in our order. <laughs> he he is. That's crazy. He's not last overall, but he is last of the group. Uh, so, Animus, what'd you get? 20. And Zygon got a 21? Yep. And Demi Liches have... What is their dexterity? <laughs> Stop that. I don't I like that sound. Uh, okay. How many, how are these squares? Ten uh, five. Feet? Five feet each. Okay. Are the zombies oh, on the ground, or are they all up on the They're roof? on the ground. They are reassembling. That's why they're last in the initiative order, not because they rolled, like, garbage. But they are currently, like, reassembling, regenerating, uh... Okay, I missed one. That's supposed to be uh -huh. All right. All right, Thea. You start us off. All right. Do I see the demulet that killed me? Uh, that it's really like hard that? to tell between the three because they all kind of look the same. Okay. You know, giant floating skulls. They kind of all tend to resemble each other. I'm going to, can I, okay, so that little, like, I want to just go my full 35 foot movement into, just into the zombies. Which way? Um, you see that one, like, kind of gap there? Do you see what I'm talking about? Like, right here? That? That's fine, that works, I don't care. Oh, well, um, not like, like here? There was one, there was one above it, like, yep, oh, like go left here? now, yeah, like there. Um, I just, you know, I'm looking for, like, maximum amount of zombies. You could probably go, like, right there. Cool. I'm gonna use my channel divinity and turn undead, and I okay. destroy any undead that are challenged rating 3 or lower. Instantly. I believe zombies are challenge rating 3 or lower. Let me double check. They're challenge rating a fourth. <laughs> that ability sucks. It does not scale well. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, zombie, oh, a fourth, I thought you said a four, and I was like, oh, uh, okay, what's the range on Channel Divinity? 30 feet. 30 feet, okay. And they're like, they don't roll anything, they're just like, it's so dead. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30, okay, so it is, so, 5, 10, 15, okay, so this one, this one, this one, this one, basically anything that's in this area here. 
Wow, okay. This one? Oh, no, this one. Oh, no, this one. Jacob. What? You. What did I do? Nothing. I got married to a zombie fight. What the hmm. fuck is happening here? What is what? I'm, it's just gathering them all. What'd you do? So all of these zombies uh, immediately disintegrate and die. Oh, <laughs> nice. oh. Yes. good shit. All right, not that one, right? Well, there's like two kind of close to me up there. Would those count? Thanks. I missed those two. <clears throat> all right. Thanks. Cool. Yeah, that that was annoying. Um, um and then yeah, yeah. You, you know the sec. zombies are more of a distraction. Yeah, truly, that's what I'm trying to just eliminate. <laughs> yeah. Oh come um, on, zombies are clearly a bigger threat than a demi lich. Yeah, I was. I mean, look. Go after them. Look how many <laughs> zombies there are on the board, and how many demi liches there are on the board. Obviously. Um. um um, and then I guess can I bonus action dash to the other side and try to wipe out some more from on my next turn? Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. This is as far as you can get. Oh, wait, you're doubling your speed. Uh, well, no, because I already moved my movement. Oh, okay, yeah. That's as far as you can get. Okay, that's fine. Do you, I'm assuming Sorry. you don't want to be next to the zombie, so I'll move you down one. Oh. Okay. Uh, um. Okay. Uh, Cirrus. I'm gonna use Hunter's sense. Okay. And I'm assuming I read this these this stat block correctly. Oh really? You you think you did? Uh. I'm not, I'm, I'm, okay, I'm not so happy you're, about it. You're targeting one of the demi liches. Yep. Okay. You're within range, I think. Yeah, I am. Okay. So you get resistances, immunities, and vulnerabilities. Vulnerability. <laughs> uh, vulnerabilities. Nothing. Yep. Oh, awesome. Damage resistances. Bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from all magical weapons. Anything that is a magical weapon does half damage to demi liches. That's kind of weird. Uh, it's a reverse of what normally is. Um, <laughs> damage immunities. <clears throat> Necrotic. Poison. Psychic. Bludgeoning. Piercing. And slashing from non-magical attacks. So, weapons of all types do half damage that was immunity though. And then you said psychic and necrotic oh yeah weapons of all types uh magic weapons do half damage non-magic weapons do nothing uh necrotic damage does nothing poison damage does nothing psychic damage does nothing there's okay. also condition immunities but you don't get that information good thing i handed you that <laughs> wand ahead of time series <laughs> His bow is magic, it doesn't matter. I know, but that's gonna get... Isn't that piercing? Magical piercing? It is magical piercing, but... It's half damage? Yeah, but it would still be more damage than four magic missiles. Four magic missiles, though? That's 4d4, right? Yeah. Yeah. As opposed to, I believe, 2d8 plus... Some, plus his dex. And, plus dex, yeah. yeah. But it is good against zombies. Yeah. All right, Cirrus... Is that your turn? Are you going to move? Yeah, probably should. Where am I at? <laughs> you are this green thing right here. Can you make him... Uh, I guess there's not a, a different color. Maybe yellow. Uh, then he kind of conflicts with Zygon. Oh, yeah. Uh, eh? I mean, that's good enough. Orange yeah. and yellow is different enough. I mean, you can make me red. Oh yeah, I forgot Braun was red, and now I can make you red. There we go. Because hey. that kitty is gone. Bye bye kitty. Oh, bye, um, on uh, adventures. On Without adventures, us. gone on adventures. Oh, this is stupid. 
Um, <laughs> this is stupid, guys. So regular. Guys, this is really stupid. Jacob, regular so magic can... attacks don't have immunity. They don't have resistance to. All magical attacks that are bludgeoning, piercing, or slashing, they take half damage. So magic, like spells. If though... you're spells, no. Okay. Cool. 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 But if it's a necrotic spell, or it's a spell that does necrotic, psychic, or poison damage, it does nothing. Okay. Absolutely zero. That also accounts for necrotic damage that's additional to, like, a weapon attack. <laughs> that necrotic damage is zero. Cool, 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 cool. It is indeed pretty cool. Uh, huh. Can I move to the left and... Uh, and then down there yeah you can get to like right here yeah that'll do and okay. then um hold on, is that a bonus or is that an action that's an action i'll how far away is the wait can i see all the way down to the end of the you can see the whole thing yeah the light is enough for you that you can see the whole thing um oh it's within 60 feet Fuck. Oh, yeah. yeah that'll do okay it's now the demi lich's turn awesome this is terrifying it should be okay I, I would like to relay the information i found out to everybody involved i assume you do so when you cast that thank spell. you all right cool i just want to make this one extra so you're clear. saying we're done for <laughs> no yes Five, we're fine 10, hey everybody 15, we're 20 25, 30, 5, 10, 15, 20. I need everyone but Thea to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, thank God. I mean, I'm back in full health, so I'm fine. Nine. Okay. Oh, no, dude. Zygon, what'd you get? 19? Animus, what'd you get? 20. 20? Anzu, what'd you get? Um, Constitution save throw. 16? Hold on. Uh -oh, Just double five. check. 20. Okay. Um, You guys hear what is the loudest spine-chilling scream you have ever heard. Thea, you have heard this before. Anzu, you have also heard this before. Zygon, Animus, and Anzu, you are all frightened of this Demi-Lich until the end of its next turn, which means you cannot move towards it, and any attacks against it have disadvantage. Which one? You guys, uh, the one on the left, this one right here. Okay. Um... As you guys are reeling from this scream and and the the real uh, weight of the situation kind of sweeps over you, you guys look over and you see Cirrus collapse to the floor. No. Zero oh, HP. No. Oh god. Um. Shut up, Jacob. <laughs> uh okay that's that one's turn this one is just going to move five, i 10, i actually didn't 20, see him collapse 30. yeah you can't but the other two can you just heard a cuckoo Kunk. you hear the bow scatter to the floor there's a lot of other noises in here <laughs> yeah there's a lot of uh, uh zombie noises um <laughs> The screeching. Okay, that just... and then this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yes, come to me, yes. Really? 
you want that. Oh, I need God. everyone but Sirius to make a constitution saving throw. Fuck. <laughs> Another one. Yeah, including you, Thea. <clears throat> God, I'm rolling well enough. Hopefully. That's a 17 for me. Thea, you also saw Sirius go down. Yeah, okay. I got 21. 21? 21? 21. Uh, 23. Okay, Zygon, what'd you get? 30, 20. Okay, all of you are feared, but none of you drop. <clears throat> Good job, everybody. Well done. So, uh, on your right, can't go that way, unless you're... Uh, well, no one can go right, and only Thea can go left. Uh, okay. That is the Demi Lich's turns. Uh, it is now Zygon's turn, and Anim is on deck. When do I go? You are after Animus. Okay. All right, Zygon, uh, what are you going to do? I'd like to use my Divine Sense. Are these guys the Liches? Are they fiends? Are they undead themselves? They are uh, undead. Okay. I was yeah. curious. Um, Wait, and their challenge so... rating for Thea, their challenge rating is 18. Yeah, I figured that was way out of my range. <laughs> and there's three of them and none of us are 18? Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. I think Animus is technically 17, <laughs> as is Thea. Yeah, but... Yeah. But not, not strictly 17. Yeah. Okay. So if I attack the ones on either side of me, they're going to, it's a uh, disadvantage, but disadvantage. I can attack one in front of me? Yes. <clears throat> All right. Um, I guess I will fire Eldritch Blast at it. Three, okay. Three shots. All right. Also, I was looking at all my stuff. It's pretty much the only thing I'm going to be able to do this entire fight. Oh, that's <laughs> should be good. We're going old school. Oof, <clears throat> that was a 15. Miss. 27. Hit. And another 15. Miss. <laughs> okay. All right. I was double checking the... Uh, Eldritch Blast wasn't necrotic. It's evocation, so you're fine. Force damage. Force damage. It is force damage. I checked it's, that uh, as well so for eight myself. Points, mm. eight, eight points, points of force damage. Okay. And I would like to go northwest, if that's possible. <clears throat> okay. My full movement of 30. All right, you're wanting to go what? Northwest? Uh, I know I can. Yeah, as much as I can. Okay, so five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. You can make it to like this area. Is my in its combat zone? Uh, the liches. Uh, you will not get an attack of opportunity now. Okay, hang on uh, one more second. I got not frightened. Is what he Not is, but one. he can't. He can't move to this one or this one. Oh, okay. The ones that? on the sides. I guess. Wait, is he trying? Are you trying to get into combat zone of him? I'm thinking about it. That's great. <laughs> we kind of need them not to be able to circle us like this. Right. That's what I was thinking. Um, so otherwise, they can just pin us down if we can't walk certain directions if we're afraid. Exactly. Yeah. It's almost as if the DM designed this fight to be hard. Gotta <laughs> get creative. How dare you, Jacob? I'm sorry that you're dead right now. <laughs> yeah, well. It's not the first time I'd be, I'd be losing turns because of nonsense. 
Thea is before you in the turn order, though, so you'll most likely be up before you have to make a death save. It's kind of right. you, What are you doing, Zygon? Uh, yeah. Nothing. That's Gun? the end of my turn. I didn't know if I could do it this turn okay. or next turn, so... All right. Mm -hmm. At the end of Zygon's turn... Don't say that. <laughs> I need... Thea, Anzu, and Animus to make constitution saving throws. Mm -hmm. oh. <clears throat> 16. That could have been way worse. Oh. Okay, so 13. 13. And Anzu. 23. Okay. Uh, so you see this Demi Lich on the right. Um, energy begins to pulse out of the skull. And it, it goes, it cloaks the three of you. Um, but it doesn't appear to affect Animus and Anzu. Thea, you lose 10%, or not 10%, you lose 10 points from your HP total. Total? Yeah, your HP total goes down by 10 um, until you, uh, until yeah, you cast... Yeah, from your max, from your hit point total. So if you're full health, it drops by 10. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, and it can only be restored with greater restora greater restoration or similar magic. Uh, let's see here. I need... At the end of Zygon's turn, this Lich is going to fly... One, two, three, oh, a little bit closer. And then this lich over here, Animus. Yeah, yeah. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, that's good. Why'd you say that? You're going to roll one now. 30. 30? Okay. Jesus Christ. He has really high wisdom. That's druids. That's their, um, that's a rolled an 18. That's their skill feature. A smart uh, bird okay. over here. Smart bird. Well, he is like a raven crow thing, so. Uh, okay. Uh, it is now Animus' turn. Uh, mm hmm, mm hmm. Yeah. And Anzu on deck. Oh. God, all those fucking zombies right now. They haven't even gone yet. <laughs> I know. Oh. I will say my turn undead lasts for a minute, so they can't get closer to me. All Unless the ones that you turn undead died. Well, it's, it's follows me. That's for me. Oh, they can't get closer to you. Okay. I, they I... still have to roll to do that, but... This is tough because it's like, it's really just if I make the wrong move here, it could really fuck us. You might die if you make the wrong move on your starting turn. I know. Shut up. I'm going to move north four squares. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I'm up here with Zygon. Uh, to give myself light and also add some protection, I'm going to cast Wall of Fire in a straight line between Thea and the zombies in the on the right side, with all of the and the Demi Lich that's over there. What's the length? Sixty feet. And the center is Thea. Center is Thea. Okay, so it goes out thirty feet each side. Five, yep. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I change what color this is. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So it goes about right here. Yeah. Um, so let me... There we go. That's more easy to see. All right. So a wall of flame. The uh, Thea, it's a little toasty. But you're not on the damage side, so you're okay. Uh, okay. I'm going to move... I kind of want to move within range of this Dimmy Lich. I mean, your funeral. Oh, man. 
Yeah, let's let's just let's go ahead and move within range of this. Damn it. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. I love it when they're right. scared. I just don't know what a demulet can do if you're next to it. Um. A lot. Bad touch. Bad touch. <laughs> bad touch. I just have a lot it of. Can whisper sweet nothings in your ear and then just never call you back. Oh yeah. <laughs> They ghost you. Brady, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Brady, everything good in your relationship? Oh, we we need to talk about anything? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Not on camera. You just got to drink your sorrows away. <laughs> right. Uh, no, I'll just stay there. I mean... <sighs> Fuck me, man. Uh, bonus action, I'm gonna take a healing potion. I I actually okay. I lost a little health earlier, so. Okay. Uh, that's it for that's me. That's good. Anzu. Oh, wait. Um, Hang on a second before you take your turn. Uh, at oh. the end of Animus' turn, uh, this Demi Lich oh, is going great. to oh. go I just here. I max health on my... Nice. I need you to roll um, wall of flame or wall of fire damage too, because okay. Timmy Lich is passing through it. Okay, hold on. Um, and then this one. I need everyone but Cirrus to make a constitution saving throw. Oh Seventeen. Okay. Twenty-one. Okay. Uh, what? What? What's going on? Constitution saving throw. Okay. There's a lot going on. Yeah. You gotta pay attention, Kaylee. I know. He was rolling damage. Sixteen. Sixteen. All of you succeed. Which oh, one? On God. the ten-point health drop. Is None that, of you are affected. Is that a concentration? Uh, no. That's an ability they have. Okay. Uh, he takes uh, 33 damage, fire damage. Okay. Okay. Uh, is that a save or is that just flat damage? Uh, I think that might be a save. Yeah, it's a dex saving throw. Oh, they have high dex too. What's your spell save, DC? 20. Fail. Okay. Yeah, 33. Uh, halved. Worth it. The, Why is it halved? You don't know. As the oh, lich passes through the flame, it doesn't seem to do as much damage as you thought it well, should. Well, hold on. I have elemental adept. Uh, uh -huh. Fire spells ignore resistance against... This isn't resistance. Okay, so it's it has nothing to do with resisting this spell is damage? An ability. This is an ability they have. But does it give them resist like, the ability it's to not, resist? It's not even... Okay, so... okay. It is called avoidance. If if it is a spell that requires a save, if they succeed on or if they fail on the save, um, they uh they take half damage. If they succeed on the save and it would deal half on a success, they take zero. Okay, so not even a. It does not matter does what your abilities do at all. This is a flat ability. This is a passive ability they have. They take half damage from anything that requires a saving throw. Okay. And, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, 33. 17. 17. Yeah. Well, I These rolled things some... are ass. Oh, I needed to add my health. <laughs> That's what it was. Yes. Okay. Anzu, it is now your turn. Um, yep. What are you doing? You My can't turn. move. You can't move. <laughs> you can't move towards this lich because you're feared, and you can't move towards this lich, the one on the right and the left of you. Um, the one in the middle, I'm going to cast haste on myself. Okay. And then I'll cast disintegrate on the one in the middle. Ooh. Right. 
So, Jacob, if you're if you go down three times in a fight, you're dead, right? Yes. So if we bring, ah. yeah, so that's just a heads up. Bringing Zach back at a lower health pool might not. What I will say is a lot of uh, their damage is like an all or nothing thing. Either you're going to die or you're not going to take any damage. Okay. Uh, disintegrate. Yep, you either, it. you either okay. die or you get spooked. You either die or you die. You die or you die. Therefore, okay, it's force damage. I was just checking what damage type it was. What's your spell save oh. DC? Uh, twenty. Well, hold on, is it? it? Might be higher. No, it's twenty. Uh, I rolled a twenty-two. Ha ha ha, dude. Which means it does half damage, right? On a fa on a succeeding. Succeeding. Um, let me look. Let me look. Uh, the creature on a failed save, the target if the damage reduces. Uh, no, it just doesn't do anything. Yeah. All right. So you fire a disintegration ray at the at the demi lich, and it seems to just bounce off, and it actually hits one of the walls, and part of the wall gets disintegrated. Rip. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna move down towards Sears. Okay. Um, oh. 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, you can get there. Um, bonus action health pot. He doesn't have a bonus action. He used haste. Oh rip. Um. Okay. It is now the zombies' turn. This one's gonna go here. 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 So it's going to go over here. Cirrus, you automatically fail save. It hits you as you're lying there unconscious. It, like, bites into you and starts... It looks like it's trying to eat you. No. Perfect. trying to move around it they are moving around it are zombies smart enough these are i mean they don't like warmth too much so yeah haven't you seen frankenstein fire bad <laughs> also um these are not normal zombies okay good they're mm. clones this is no one the said Clone anything Wars. About clones. The Clone War. Just get this going a little bit faster. Uh, Tay. Are any of them within ten feet of the wall? Uh, uh these two are. Are the ones at the end? Uh, I guess. Uh, yeah, these guys are. They all take damage. Okay. Away. Good job, Caleb. Thank you. Okay, Zygon. Two are going to attack you. I have a cloak of displacement. Oh. Do, they, do you want to make dex saves for for the zombies? Both miss. Um, Their dex is garbage. It's a 20 so, to save. It's a 20 to save, so... I'd have to roll in that. Yeah, they have a minus two. Even if I roll a natural 20, they don't succeed. Okay. Uh, well, um, I'll say I'll say it's fine. Just deal your damage. Okay. Mainly oh. because... Anyway. Uh, okay, they miss you, Zygon. Okay, zombie... Okay. They... All of the ones that are next to the wall are burned to ash. Sweet. All nice. right. Uh... Uh, trying to hit Animus, that one hits, and the other one misses. So it's just going to be a standard claw attack. Okay. You take six, or uh, you take five points of slashing damage, okay. and then you take six points of poison damage. Okay. 
Okay. As you see, as this zombie pulls away with its claw, you see unnatural fingers, almost like blades. And you see another one with strange descended arms and legs. And you see another one with spines on its back. And some with spider fangs protruding from their mouths. Something weird's going on here. Uh, I save on my constitution save to keep the wall up. Okay. So, at the end of the round, the faint purple light flares up and every single zombie that went down this turn no. order Fucking reanimates. Scary. That's going to be annoying. Oh, God. And are back to full health. Basically, what you're going to want to do is have Thea just running around. Because <laughs> she can nuke all of them. Thea is running around and healing, and that's what she's doing. Well, as we begin the top of the round, that will be where we end tonight's session. God damn. Oof. This allows my players to perhaps, through this coming week, maybe plan a strategy. Um, and it allows for the fans to get nervous. Ooh. Uh, and for Zach to not know if he's going to be alive or not. <laughs> So. I get to make a new character, just in case. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I want to say thank you all so much for watching. This has been super, super fun. I've been waiting for the Lich fight. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll see if the party TPKs next week. Mm -mm. Uh, for no, those of you who may not know in the audience, TPK the is total party kill. Don't put that into the world, Jacob. Alright. No. Well, I hope to see you all next week, and have a good rest of yours.